Hello, today I am going to compare Java against Python. Uh, recently, I made a switch from primarily practicing and studying Python to going toward uh, Java. And I've noticed some interesting uh, things about how they are different because I went pretty deep in Python when it came to its core, when it came to uh, web development in Flask, and I had never gone that deep in a programming language before, but I was suddenly hitting a wall. Um, I had discovered that it wasn't that great at game development, and uh, that there were less, there, there was a lot less difficulty uh, in documentation, understanding documentation in um, Python. So I'm going to go over for a sec, uh, different places where you could find uh, documentation for Java and Python. And I want to compare uh, the difficulty uh, between the two. So um, I'll start off by telling you guys the pros and cons of Java and then the uh, pros and cons of Python. So uh, first of all, uh, Java is much more powerful. I know that sounds kind of biased um, because you will hear a lot of people say that Python has just as much power as Java, but really I, I, I beg to differ that Java is more complex, Java has more libraries, Java has more capability simply because of things that already exist within its uh, ecosystem. So for example, if we were to go to GitHub right now, and I was going to look up something on uh, game development, right? Uh, you have plenty of things, like you just see from my search history, all of those are from Java, right? So let's just put something in Python and look at open source projects. We're going to order them by, uh, let's say, most forks. And we were to look at this a lot of them are based on things that are niche to Python. So that has to do with uh, some web development, some machine learning, um, some types of uh, system uh, applications that are meant for uh, easy read readability, some uh, integration into C uh, because the Python interpreter is usually compiled into C before it's actually uh, read into the binary like virtual machine. So basically uh, the compiler is in C. So a lot of things are niche to Python and uh, interestingly Jupyter Notebook is, is really, really good. Even for Java, you could do Java in uh, Jupyter Notebook. But if we were to search uh, Java for instance, um, and we were to do the same thing, but with uh, most forks, uh, you will see a lot of different things. There's more variety. So uh, there's somebody with their computer science notes in a different language, which is interesting. Uh, you have Spring, which is web development. You have uh, Apache, which has to do with a bunch of different applications. Uh, you have uh, ha things having to do with um, just a lot of things and there's some JavaScript in there so let's go to Java and there there's a, there's a lot uh, there really is uh, you'd be surprised that at how many things there are in Java that are not in Python and I'm assuming it's simply because of how long Java has been around and in particular the one thing that sold me on Java was game development so if we were to look up RuneScape whoops Put in the put shift enter. Uh, you will find that there are a lot of uh, things in Java for emulators and bots and clients for all years of RuneScape, right? And this is just my favorite game. But if we were to go to Python, there are way less. You could just see by the repository results, and we could do this with a lot of games. Uh, especially because Python doesn't have a good amount of engines yet. Um, 
And there's one called uh, J Monkey Engine that's in Java that you would find um, to be like the best out of the two languages. And this one runs, um, if you wanted to see the website, like it, it can make some pretty good games. It's, it's not bad. And I have it, as you can see in my taskbar. Uh, it's it's pretty good. It's easy to use. Um, it's not as uh, graphically detailed as Unity, but it's still pretty good, and it's in Java, so you, you can practice your Java skills with JMonkey Engine. The best thing that Python has, the equivalent, would be Panda. Uh, I think it's 3D game. No? Let me look up Panda. Oh, that's why. All GitHub. And Python. Panda game. Panda. There it is. Panda 3D. Uh, this one right here is the equivalent of JMonkey Engine for Java, Unity for C Sharp. Oh, and there are a bunch of them for C Sharp. But this would be the best one for 3D game development for Python, and it just doesn't doesn't live up to JMonkey Engine or uh, Unity. And when I was trying to learn it, I was pretty disappointed. So that's the main reason why I switched to Java. And man, I do not regret uh, switching to Java at all. Uh, and uh, what I had discovered was the uh, documentation wasn't as great in Java, but the power was still there, so the Python wasn't an actually wasn't actually bad uh, to go through all of that Python studying that I did for months. Uh, it had actually helped at uh, my Java learning. It sped it up. And I discovered that, hey, you know what? Java is pretty tough. I mean, it's not the toughest language to learn, but uh, if we were to just look up something like um, adding to an array, well, let's look up swing, swing button methods, okay? Add methods to swing buttons, there we go. And uh, let's just hit this one, no. Look, just looking at this right here, in Python, it isn't laid out like this. It's laid out a lot easier to read. This is actually really intimidating. Um, and t TK Enter, you you have everything inside of the uh, job, the Python docs. Okay, the PyDocs. So um, let's see. Adding custom method to J button class. Okay. So take a look at. Oh, that one's actually. This is actually really easy. Usually what would happen is you would have like a button uh, method here and you would have to create your own class and within that class you would have to create your own button. Um, and it's usually you only need to write like two lines and that's how you add the method to the button uh, like this. So where you have like a whole page basically of code for something you could write in two lines, okay? And that happens all the time on Stack Overflow with Java, but not with Python. In Python, usually you have a bunch of one-liners or five-liners, 10-liners. None of my code in Python ever really got beyond maybe 300 lines, but in Java, as I'm writing through it or going through an open source project, I'm finding myself using many more lines um, it's not as readable, obviously, because it's Java versus Python. But uh, there is definitely more power in Java simply because of things that already exist within the language. So um, some things that are the same when it comes to the two languages, uh, creating environments, that is the same. So it, it's not the same in method. What I mean is in difficulty, uh, when you are trying to import previous code libraries when you're trying to do pathing to be able to use methods uh, in your code. Uh, it's not that hard in Java, it's not that hard in Python. You just use pip in Python, you just use or virtual NV 
virtual env, I don't know how to say it. Or in Java, uh, you would just move the uh, jar files or the classes into the same directory and you just put it in the command line. Uh, however, when you are making executables, that's tougher. So uh, learning pip for the first time is tough. I have to admit that, but it's not, once you learn it, it's pretty easy. Same thing with Java. Once you learn how to use class pathing, it's, it's pretty easy. And it's the same type of thing where all you do is you include the code in the same little square of where all your code is basically. It's called pathing. That's all importing is. It's making the code available at the same level uh, of the code, right? So uh, when it comes to creating executables in Python, it's easier. Um, all you have to do is run a library that creates it or uh, you just run the .py file or you use a third party uh, software to convert the .py into uh, an exe. But in Java, you have to build jar files and there are a lot of different options. Um, you have a jar file that has everything self-contained to where it even has the JRE itself. You have um, a way to make executables using Maven. And uh, Maven is like my go-to, but it's still a tough thing to learn. I had to buy a Udemy course just on creating executables for Java. But once you learn it, just in the same way that once you learn pip, uh, you can make environments easily. Uh, the same thing with Java, if you learn Maven or Gradle, uh, I prefer Maven, um, then it becomes much easier. Lastly, um, just remember that it's tougher in Java, that's what I'm saying. Everything, everything's tougher in Java, basically, but there's more power and it becomes worth it over time and it's, it's nice to see it add up. Lastly, object-oriented programming, OOP, is easier in Python, but it's simpler and at the cost of uh, its flexibility and power. So I heard a lot of things while I was in my college classes that Python is more flexible, it's also powerful, you can do so much with it. But you know, it's it's like a give and take. Uh, in Java, there's, there's an object-oriented uh, way of programming that has its own merit, if that makes sense. And I have a lot of um, projects on my IntelliJ IDE that I've uploaded to GitHub just like this. And it's, it, it's, it's a whole different world than Java, really, um, because you can make Minecraft mods, you could do plugins, you could do um, 3D game development, you could do RuneScape, you could do, th these are all the things that I'm interested in. So that's why I switched to Java and I was happy about it. And even now I'm like thinking of switching to C++ just because of the game development option, but um, I'm really enjoying where it's at. So that was Java versus Python. Just know that Java is tougher, but it's more powerful and it has more background. Python is easy to get much farther in it faster. It's a good first language. Um, and there are more open source toward Java and just make sure that you know what you're getting into when you get into it. You're, it's going to be more of a struggle for the first time ever programming if you're doing Java first. Uh, but there is still a great reward at the end of it, being able to make your own uh, projects that are just freaking awesome. All right. Hope you learned something.